and in a five, four, three, two, one. Presto change of battle. Hey guys, welcome back as always. My name is Lazar, and as you can plainly see, my friends, it's once again that wonderful time. It's battle time. And earlier we had like this huge collection of yep, pink things. I'm gonna jump on over to console after we take a look at PC, and of course I'll give you my two cents on this stuff. The brand new item is the Empyrean Vignet. Hey! That's kind of cool. Look, you get the little spacey thing and a floaty ship and a little, like the planet and rock. You just like rock. I gotta has it. What else we got? Cutter fighter decoration. Cutter fighter decoration. It looks off. What? Um, I don't even stunningly detailed representative of the signature Grenier fight. Here you go. Hey, prime heated charge. You gotta get this one for your secondaries, my friends. We are talking about prime heat damage. Temporal new. Now you can farm this one from the game, but it's a pain in the ass. If you really want it, get it from battle. It's simpler and it spares yourself sea trouble. Oh, as if it immortal skin. Ignis Wraith. Now, honestly, you don't really need to get this one if you're on PC, if you're on console. I think even the guys over on Nintendo have a better way of obtaining this one nowadays. Honestly, I wouldn't waste 550 ducats. Don't get me wrong. The weapon is amazing. Super powerful. Easy to use. Whatever you want. Great usability, too. But it's not simply worth getting it from battle. Most Tenno offer the blueprints on PC over for free and other charge you a couple of plat. Like the cards right now for a full and detailed guide on the Ignis Rave. It's a weapon you do want to have. Just like the Prisma Ovex, I believe this one is a decent melee weapon for the most part. Some people even say it's fantastic, but I can say I have personal experience with this one. I'm gonna give it a prior too. More cosmetics which are subjective and entirely up to you. Here you go, you get the Sugatra with the dirty name if that's what you're into. We got the Scimitar skin, Lotus Glyph thingy, more skins. What about weapons? Any more mods or weapons? Hey, look at that prime fulmination, my friends. For your secondary weapons, we're talking about blast radius, and this can definitely help you out on certain builds. Try to pick up a copy of this one prior to. And the rest of the weapons, no, that's it, that's it. Any fancy glen? Oh, armor sets, more cosmetics, Kitir Moa Fingy, which I forgot to pick up last time, if I remember correctly, and I'm definitely gonna be picking it up this time. 500 ducats, 300 and oh, owned. So I did pick it up, good. And I believe that's pretty much it for PC. If you don't have Inaros, make sure you pick up the Sands of Inaros Blueprint, which will eventually lead to the Warframe. Let's hop on over to console. And the brand new item for consoles are the Tanukai shoulder plates, chest plate and leg plates. Yes, my friends, we're talking about the full armor set. And while this is not the first time they make an appearance in the game, I do believe it's the first time you can get them from Barra over on console. What else we got? Prime Fever Strike Prior 1 on this one is Toxin. For your melee weapons, you also got Prime Slip Magazines. For secondary weapons, we're talking about magazine capacity. And again, on certain builds, ah, this definitely works. It's a prior too, however. Scattering Inferno, you can get this one from Spy Missions. No need to waste your ducats on it. And Full Contact is a hard core pass. Plus impact, I mean impact is not as bad as it used to be, but we still don't really mod for impact all that much. Do try to pick up, however, Prime Char Shell, Prior 1 on this one. We're talking about electricity for your shotguns. And if you want to see an actual great use out of this one, link the cards right now for a full and detailed guide on the Tenant Arca Plasmore. Amazing weapon. You want the best machete in the game with a fantastic skin? If you're up for it, get the machete Rafe. It is actually the best machete. What else we got? More cosmetics, which are subjective and in Entirely up to you. Of course, you need the rug, a thousand rugs, and the Opticor Vandal. Now, it's the first time you can get it from battle over on console. If I'm not mistaken, it's a great weapon. It's very thematic and all of that good stuff. But I don't feel it has the feel of the OG Opticor. Still, this is a weapon you gotta have in your collection. Prior one. Prisma Shade! Uh, it's uh, it's the best version of the shade, and that's pretty much it. More mastery points, yay! And if you don't have Inaros, once again, get the Sands of Inaros uh, blueprint, which will lead to the Warframe. If you already have Inaros, why don't you visit Barrow using it? Hint, 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 hint. That's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Malazar, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!